from a Christian standpoint, Jesus is supposed to be the focal point. Jesus is, is the um, uh, completion, if you will, of God's plan from a Christian standpoint, that he's responsible for coming to save us. Jesus saves. Um, the question is, does Jesus save by teaching us to save ourselves? Or does Jesus save simply by virtue of him having been crucified? And the, of course, from a traditional Christian view, the argument is generally that Jesus did it. He, he shed his blood and we're saved, we're, we're washed in, in the blood of Jesus, so to speak, and we're clean. And some people, unfortunately, take that position and then believe that they don't have to try to live a Christ-like life because I'm, you know, I'm good, I'm saved, I'm saved. And can uh, do every dastardly thing you can imagine, but think that they're good and clear because on Sunday they're sitting up in the church, which of course makes, to me, no sense. The idea of one listening to Jesus and saying, um, these things and more can you do, and know ye not that ye are gods, or is it not written that ye are gods? Or, and, and also telling us, love thy neighbor as thyself and thy father God with all thy heart and soul, in terms of what is often called the double love command, in terms of what's most important. Um, to me, the emphasis should be on are you living your life in a Christ-like fashion? I can't assume and, and argue that I'm automatically saved because I'm baptized or because I go to church every Sunday. This series and many others can only be found exclusively on Amexum. Quickly sign up with our three-step process to get started. The link to access your trial is in the description below. We'll see you in the next chapter. Peace and love.